we're going to make Swiss braided bread. I'm going to start off by giving you the recipe. I made the bread actually in my uh, bread machine on the dough cycle. You can cer certainly make it by hand if you prefer. But you're going to need three and three quarters cups of bread flour, one teaspoon of salt, one egg that's been beaten, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, one teaspoon of honey, one cup of lukewarm milk, and four tablespoons of melted butter. Now, once it came out of my machine, I just put it on my countertop with some flour, and I went ahead and I actually just uh, cut three pieces out of the dough. I scored it ahead of time, and now I'm just gonna cut all the way through. Now once you do that, just separate it in three. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to take this and you're just going to stretch it out. And you're going to um, try to have them the same size in length. as the other one. Stretch this one out a bit more flatten it and stretch it and then square it off. And I'm going to stretch them all a little bit more. Depends how long you want to make your loaf. And then I'm actually going to take the left hand piece onto the center piece and then the right hand piece and pull that together and then I'm just going to roll it and tuck it and pinch it for it to stay together. Then I'm going to take just the right hand side over and just keep stretching it. And you're just going to you're just going to braid it. going to stretch it again. Until you get the braid done. And then again I'm just going to pinch the ends and then seal it together. And then I'm going to just stretch it a little bit more. Tuck those ends in. And then on a heavily greased baking sheet that I have sh solid shortening on, I'm just going to put that bread on there. And I'm going to cover it for about two hours till it doubles in size. You're going to bake this at 375, uh, anywhere from uh, 35 to 40 minutes. So start checking your oven around 25 minutes or so, because all ovens, of course, set up differently. I went ahead and made one to show you what the finished product will look like and this is exactly how it comes out. You have your Swiss braided bread. I just went ahead after it rose and it took about an hour and a half to raise it because my kitchen was quite warm today. And then I just took a beaten egg and I uh, used a pastry bar brush and uh, brushed it on with my egg wash and baked it at 375. So you have a delicious loaf of Swiss braided bread. I hope you give this recipe a try. Hope you like this one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.